Crazy Chef, big vibe today. Lamb lolly, penko encrusted lamb. We're doing some island style. We're going with the jerk lolly and we're going with a seared Merlot red onion lamb. So there's an extra bone right here, I'm just gonna take that off. And if you look, you'll see the nice marbling from the lamb, which is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just separate my bones. We leave the fat here, cause we're gonna sear these off. So you need a little bit of fat. So take those off. And those are a little bit better than the first one. Cause the first one, we cleaned it cause we want it that way. So, this one we're gonna do a little jerk island style. We're gonna serve that up with a little mango salsa. And then this one we're gonna sear, sear some off. And we're gonna just get that vibe. So, let's marinate them. So we're gonna split them in four. Four over here, four over here. Take our jerk, mix it with a little extra virgin olive oil. Put that on there. Flip them over. And if you wanna find the Crazy Chef Jerk Sauce video, it's gonna be right here in the description, right up above, right here. That's where you find. So we, we're gonna put these right there, like that. See how nice those looks? Nice and jerk. Then we gotta take the remain or jerk sauce. Just put it right on there. Awesome. We got our bacon wrapped lamb. So the reason why we take the fat off is we want the fat from this bacon. So we wanna cook or lamb with the bacon fat, not the lamb fat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna serve that up with some maple butter. So see how we wrap these? What's gonna happen is this bacon's gonna get nice and crispy. It's gonna cook the lamb inside and then we're gonna serve that up with some maple butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take real maple syrup. We're gonna just burp along that with some butter. And that's gonna be the sauce. That's just our oven. That's gonna be the sauce for our lamb. So, if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button we're making lamb four ways so we're gonna put this in our oven and then we're gonna work on the other two so now we're ready for our seared recipe so we'll put extra virgin olive oil in pans hot oils hot so Lamb. A little bit of spice. 
какой-то мозг. Спайс. So all that spice is uh, garlic powder, onion powder, some ground black pepper, salt. So that's all the spices. But you can't cook without a little bit of spice. So we're gonna sear those off, get them a little bit brown and crispy. Then we're gonna add our stuff. For this one, this one you'll need a little red wine. You don't have to get expensive red wine, you can get the cheap stuff. So, that's our lamb. So these we're gonna cook a lot. We're gonna bring them to like medium well just because we, with the reduction of the wine and all that other stuff, it's kind of better. But I mean, at home you can cook them however you want. So we put our red onions, garlic, That in. Some vine ripe tomatoes. Put that in. Fresh rosemary, some sage, some fresh thyme. Shake that in. Some red wine. Get that burn out. Some butter. Now we're gonna make our penko encrusted lamb. So the first thing, as always, dry, wet. You can twist it if it's not, you know, because you have to get it in there, and then like that. So look at that. That's our Merlot. That's our seared Merlot lamb. Beautiful. With the herbs and the spices. Just beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. So I mean, if you haven't hit that like button as yet, just shut that off and let it rest, and then I'm all set up a vibe. But if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button. Let's get into the vibe. Now we're doing our encrusted lamps, right? Let's throw those in.
one is our island vibe. So this is our jerk. This is our island vibe. Oh, my all time favorite. This is my bacon wrapped lamb. with a, so what I did is I took some salted butter to add more salt. I don't know why I did that, but it's awesome. So we took some salted butter, a little maple syrup, and we combined them together in a reduction. And it gave us this beautiful thing right here. 